All right, this is lecture three. This video is on creating a function, a void function with no arguments. So let's see. So the first thing you wanna do is we always include our libraries. We'll clean up the, first you clean up the program and then we're gonna include our libraries. So I'm gonna do pound include IO stream. And this of course is just your library of common commands. A library of input slash output uh, output commands. Okay, using namespace uh, std uh, semicolon, and this just places std colon colon in front of all common library commands. Okay, so now we got that. Now we wanna create our header file so we can create the function in there. So you're gonna right click on header, highlight add and click new item, select header file and just enter a name for it. I'm gonna call it C heading and add. And now we're in here. So here we want to create a void function. So I'm going to write, so the first one I want to do is just to clear the screen. So I'm going to say void clear the screen open paren closing paren and then two braces. So now here we're going to use a system command uh, CLS, that command will clear the screen. So now this is a very simple and basic void function. It's a void function with no parameters. If you have any parameters, they go inside of here. Parameters go in here. But since this has no parameters, I'm going to delete all that. So. Let's come back over here and we're going to include the header file into our uh, main program. So we're going to say pound include uh, double quotes and then c heading dot h. Okay, so now we've included uh, this header file, c heading, into our uh, main function or main uh, program. So now here, uh, here's the first one which is just clear the screen so now let's show you how that works so first thing I'm going to do is well yeah first thing I want to do is just to make sure that when I run this program that I don't have the press any key right next to whatever I'm typing out so I'm gonna do this right here and this will just force that press any key to oh gosh I missed it there we go. Come on. Okay. My oh, that's right. I'm missing an end. Okay. So uh, this is just going to force the pressing key down a bit. But you know what? Um. That's another good one. So why don't, instead of doing this right here, where it'll be maybe a little bit sloppy, I'm actually gonna cut this out. I'm gonna bring it into here. And I'm gonna create another void function. And so this void function, void, uh, this void function with no argument, I want this one to, I'm gonna call this just the ending. And let's see, so we do this. And now we're going to say, actually, this is where we're going to paste it, control. So I'm going to do this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to call the void ending. And it's going to call this C out in a bunch of backslash ends. Yeah, let's put a backslash T in there, too. Okay, so this, this function, this void function with no parameter, is going to be called from inside of the, the main. 
and it's going to force this, the press any key to continue bu um, text on the output, it's going to force it away from just my regular output. So I'm going to put it right here. And this is just going to be, uh, oh, jeez, what did I call that? I think I called it heading? No. Oh, ending. So here we're just going to say ending, just like that. And that will call this guy. And then I also want to do clear the screen. So let's also, before I do any programming into it, I want to clear the screen. So it's just clear, whoops, clear the, clear the screen. Okay. So now I just want to type out anything. So um, let's do backslash n, backslash t. And now I'm just going to uh, just some random text. Okay, so now if I run this, it's going to, first it's gonna come to here, clear the screen, so it's gonna clear anything that's on there. Then it's gonna go to the next one, see out, it's gonna drop down one line, indent by eight spaces, and then it's gonna say just some random text, and then much further down, it's going to do this ending. It'll well. It's going to first. It's going to call it ending, which is going to uh, let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's going to move down the press any key to continue down ten spaces and indented by eight. So let's go ahead and run this. Oh, compile. Okay, so it ran successfully. Now I'm going to go ahead and run it. Okay, so as you can see, it says just random text. And then it says press any key to continue. Moved it down 10 spaces and moved it over uh, 8. Or I moved it down uh, a bunch of lines and it indented it by 8. So uh, this is this this program is nothing more than just uh, it's creating a, a void function. These are both void functions with no arguments in here or no parameters. So it's just, um, and all that means is that it's not going to return anything. It's just going to go and do whatever you tell it to do but it's not going to, it doesn't require any input and all when it goes out there it's going to do whatever you tell it to do and then it's just, that's it. Uh, and it won't give you any values like if, like let's say you were calculating for the area of a square, you would have to enter in a value here, a parameter. And then you would calculate its area, then it would give you that value. It necessarily wouldn't print it out unless you told it to, but I mean that's it all depends on what you want it for. So anyhow, this is just to create a function, a void function with no arguments. The next video I'll make it with with an argument. So anyhow, good luck in your classes. I hope this made sense. If you liked it, please click like.